Welcome back to my channel. It has been forever since I uploaded a video. It's been way too long and I apologize. That is going to change starting with this video. I will be uploading a video every week. Uh, I moved so all of my lighting and my equipment was all put away and I haven't been able to film anything. But um, yeah, so today I'm gonna do this get ready with me. Uh, tomorrow is my birthday, so we're going out tonight for my birthday since tomorrow is Sunday. And um, I have a few exciting things going on that I can't wait to share and tell you guys about. Halloween is around the corner. And I'm currently taking costume orders. Um, I'll leave a link below to some photos of costumes that I have made and designed before in the past. So that's that and I have some other exciting things going on that I'm excited to share with you in the near future that I'm working on. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because you don't want to miss out on this. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. I am super, super stoked and excited. I can't even tell you. But anyways, um, I have to leave pretty soon to go out. So this is the look that I did uh, for my birthday tonight. Uh, I did just redo my hair so it's super bright tonight and I wanted to do something really fun and festive to go along with it. So if you like this look, just keep watching and I'll show you how I got it. Ooh. Yeah, straight up, <laughs> totally unintentional, but I am starting with tape and I'm basing my eyes with the painterly paint pot and then I'm just going in with this flesh colored shadow from wet and wild and setting that and applying it all over my eye this will make it much easier to blend the other colors and I'm using my gold unzipped palette today and I'm starting with this color undeniable and my Mac 217 brush and I'm just gonna go in and start to shape it I love using tape for this technique when I want to get that nice sharp edge because I can just be sloppy in that corner and it'll come out nice and sharp when I take the tape off so next I'm going in with unedited this darker color and I'm applying that uh, lower down in the crease and more on the outer corner and I'm just blending it in to the rest of the eye. Next I'm just taking a fluffy brush with nothing on it and just giving it a nice blend. And then going back in with Undeniable again. I'm just blending out that line on the top. I just want to make sure everything is nice and smooth and blended. So I'll switch back and forth between colors. Now taking the even darker color. I'm going in right there on that line where I'm going to have the sharpness in the corner. And I'm just applying that to give it that nice dimension and deepness on the outer half of the eye. Now I'm taking a black shadow. This one's from Morphe. And this is a 440 brush also from Morphe. I applied it right above where the tape is and like an idiot, I'm totally off camera. I am so sorry. Now going in with this amazing ColourPop shadow, Get Lucky, and a MAC 242 brush, I am just smoothing this all over my eyelid. This shade is so gorgeous. I am like in love with it. And going back to Undeniable and my 217 brush, 
I'm just going to blend the crease right where that gold meets the rest of the shadow just so there's no harsh lines and it looks really nice and smooth and transitioned. And again, taking the black shadow just in the corner, the gold I felt like kind of messed it up a little bit. I just want to diffuse it and make it really soft and blended into the gold. Now I'm using Sugar Cane Glitter from Eye Candy Cosmetics and I'm going to be applying it with their liquid sugar. And I basically just dip the brush into the liquid sugar and then dip it into the glitter and this stuff works amazing. This was my first time using it and I am so in love with it. And now I'm using my Kat Von D eyeliner and I'm just tracing out what I want my liner to look like. Leaving that tape on, leaving the tape on will really help. It's just, it makes it easier. So now I'm taking the tape off and I'm going back in with my NYC liner because the Kat Von D liner is kind of hard to apply over top of glitter. And this is just really nice and dark. So taking the Get Lucky and a small little brush, I just wanted to blend. I felt like it needed a little tiny bit more of a transition, so I just put a little more gold right above that glitter. Moving on to the facha, I am going to take a makeup wipe and wipe out any fallout that fell onto my face. And then I'm going to start by priming my skin with the Too Faced uh, Hangover RX Primer. This is a really good moisturizing primer and my skin is dry. And I also like to layer on top of it the Benefit Professional. This will fill in any pores. I have some really big pores on like my nose and in my cheek area. So I just put it a little on the areas that I want to diffuse the pores on. And yes, I should have done this ahead of time, but you know what? I will pluck my eyebrows at any point that I see they need to be plucked. So I'm mixing two foundations together today, and I just put them on the back of my hand, and this is like the back of a brush. I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear because it really stays on. I like the lasting power that it has, but it is not dark enough because I have a little tiny bit of a tan, if you can believe it. And I'm also mixing that with my Rimmel foundation, which is a little bit darker. I feel like if I just use the Rimmer, Rimmel, bleh, Rimmer, I feel like I just, if I just use the Rimmel foundation, it, it stays a little too wet. It's like really, really moisturizing. So I really like the combination of the two of them together. And as always, I'm applying my NYX Dark Circle Concealer under my eyes just to cover up the darkness and cancel it out. I use this every day. I love it. And my favorite, favorite concealer, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This stuff is serious. I am applying that under my eyes and just a tiny little bit highlight and then I'm going in with my Real Techniques sponge and it's actually dry, not wet. Um, you can, you know, take a concealer brush and fit it into the places that the sponge won't fit, like into the corner of the eyes. And I'm just blending that out. Then I am going to set my under eyes with this Laura Mercier powder and I'm actually going to set my whole face with this powder today because my usual MAC powder is a little too light for me. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in light and I'm taking the darkest color first on this small angled brush and I'm going to just carve out the cheekbones at the bottom and apply it a little bit to my hairline as well. Now 
Now taking the lightest contour shade on my Morphe M527, I am going to bronze and finish my contour like right above that harsh line that's already laid down, but I'm going to diffuse that line so it is a nice smooth and it looks like it gets darker as it goes down. This will create more dimension using a couple shades instead of just one to do your contour. And for my blush, I'm using Thrilled by Tarte. And I'm just applying that right above that last light contour shade. Oh, yes. I'm using the Artist Couture Highlighter, and I believe this is in the shade Conceited, and right now I'm just applying it with a Morphe 501 brush. And because I really like to glow to the high heavens, I am going in with a second highlighter. This is the ColourPop Highlighter Spoon. And I'm taking a big eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be patting it on, on top of the highlighter that I already laid down. And I'm not highlighting the whole section, I'm just highlighting, highlighting a little section on top of the section that I already highlighted, if that makes sense. And I'm also highlighting my brow bones right above my brow and in the corners of my eyes with this highlighter as well. So I got, I forgot to contour my nose. We can't forget that. I'm using the lighter shade and a fluffy eyeshadow brush to just lay down a little bit of contour. Now to finish my nose contour, I am taking this banana shade from my contour palette and I'm using a Morphe M520 brush and I'm laying that right up against the brown that I just put down to really bring in the sides of the nose. And I'm applying some Make Me Brow from Essence to my eyebrows and just kind of filling them in with this because it is dark. Now for my under eyes, I'm taking that lighter shade on my pencil brush and I'm going to smudge this just under both of my eyes. Man, I got summer hating on me cause I'm hotter than the sun Got spring hating on me cause I ain't never sprung Winter hating on me cause I'm colder than y'all And I would never, I would never, I would never fall Ooh, that highlight beaming though Taking the dark brown also I am going to lay a little bit of this under my under eyes as well Just with a flat brush And then curling my lashes to get them ready, I am going to apply, I'm using one of my favorite lashes today. They are the Vegas Nay Shining Star. And I actually have a video showing all of the different Vegas Nay lashes, so I will link that below. Make sure you check that out. Um, they're awesome. I really like Eyelor lashes. And they're not that expensive. You can get these at Target or at Ulta. I think they're like seven or eight dollar lashes. And you can use the coupons on them, which is really awesome. Love them. They are so pretty. And then back in with my Kat Von D liner, just Covering up any little imperfections, covering the lash band. I didn't really need to cover the lash band too much for this, but I like to just go back in and make sure my liner is perfect because I'm a perfectionist. 
And now just applying a little bit of mascara. This is a Tarte mascara. I believe it's like lights, camera, action. I don't know. It's a little sample size. I got it in one of those things that Sephora has when they have like the five for 25 and then there's a voucher for one for a full size one in there. So I still haven't even redeemed my full size one. And then I'm using one of my ride or die lip combos, probably my like most used. This is the natural pencil from NYX. And then I'm going over it with my brave lipstick from MAC. And that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure that you subscribe so you can check out my video next week. Please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions for further videos in the comments below. And I hope you I hope to see you back here next week. Thanks for watching. I know you wish your name was Mrs. Coward. Wee 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 w